My name is Seiya Yamamoto. In my first year of high school, I lived in a rundown apartment in the countryside. Just quit it already! It's cheeky of you to stand up to me! What are you guys doing? Oh no! Run! Are you okay, Yuki? Were you bullied by that kid again? This kid is Yuki Ito, who lives next to my house. His father passed away a few years ago, and now he lives with his mother. Since our parents became friends, I often take care of him at our place. That guy Gori always laughs at me for being poor. I'm tired of being bullied! Having a kind heart is much more important than having money. Huh? Even without money, Yuki, you are a kind and admirable kid. So hope to stop letting guys like that upset you, you have to become strong both in heart and body. Then... Will you stay with me forever when I become strong? Huh? Mom said you'll be going far away soon. Ah, uh, I have to move next month for my dad's job, but I'll come back someday. When that happens, if you have become strong, I promise to be with you forever. Really? Then I'll become strong. One month later. Today is goodbye. Take this with you. A pendant? There's a picture inside. I put a picture of you in mine. So let's not forget our promise to each other. Got it. I'll cherish it. And thus, ten years passed since that day. It's been a while since I came back here. I wonder if Yuki remembers the promise from that time. He might have forgotten. But I hope we can meet while I'm here. Ugh. That's... Uh, are you okay? Huh? Who the heck are you? Yikes, she's scary. Ow! Are you injured? It's none of your business. Certainly, you and I are strangers, but I can't just leave an injured girl alone. <gasps> you treat me like a girl? Huh? Were you a guy, perhaps? No way! Are you dense? Ugh, people always avoid me because of my appearance. Really? I just thought you were cute. You're not normal. You're the socially dense type, huh? Anyway, I won't do anything weird, so can I at least give you first aid? I'll buy some stuff at the convenience store. A few minutes later. This should do it. Ugh, thanks. Sorry for doubting you earlier. It's natural to be cautious of strangers, but why did you have such an injury? It's nothing. Maybe it's something she doesn't want to talk about. Well, I shouldn't force her to tell me. Well then, I'll be going. Wait, you went this far for me. Let me at least thank you properly. It's not necessary, but... I can't relax if I leave a debt unpaid. I want to thank you properly another day, so tell me your name. I'm Seiya Yamamoto. Huh? What's wrong? N nothing My name is Yuki. Oh no. The same name as the kid next door ten years ago. But the surname and gender are different. It must be a coincidence. Boss, I've come to pick you up! What's with all these bikes? These guys are my friends. Well then, I'll thank you again later. A few days later. Alright, if I hurry, I can make it to the opening. Ah! Finally found you! Uh, Miss Ono! Call me Yuki! Anyway, I came to thank you for the other day. Ah, uh, did you say that? Well, thanks for going through the trouble. I should be the one thanking you. But more importantly... Here, I made this. A lunchbox? I've been cooking since forever. If you like, please take it. Oh, thank you! The contents of the lunchbox are so cute! A and it's delicious! Surprisingly domestic. How should I return this box to Yuki? There, there. It's all better now. Yuki? Who's this child? Uh, looks like she tripped over there. I finished treating her, so I was asking for her address to take her home. I'll help, too. 30 minutes later. Alright, I've taken the girl home. Now, it's your turn to be escorted home. I I'm fine. I'm not a child, you know. But you're still a student, right? It's getting dark, and if something happens, it could be troublesome. Ugh, I get it. Fine. Thanks. 
but seriously, you're a kind person. I, I just can't leave people in need. I myself received a lot of help from others in the past. When I was little, I was a crybaby. And a guy who lived next door often helped me. Uh -huh. He moved away a long time ago, but I still remember him. I want to become like him and help people in need. I used to help the kid who lived next to my apartment a lot too. <gasps> uh, but when I was in high school, I had to move because of my dad's job. We promised to meet again when I came back, so I want to see that kid again. Th then let me help. Huh? It's a continuation of the thanks from the other day. I was just thinking about how I hadn't properly thanked you. Uh, just giving me the lunch was more than enough, and it was delicious. I... I insist. Or is it bothersome if I help? N no not at all. So, on the next day off, can I ask you to come with me to the apartment where that kid used to live? I want to see if they're still around. Uh, sure, leave it to me. A few days later. This is the address, but... It's turned into an empty lot. Could it be that the kid isn't here anymore? Uh, it's too early to give up. I know. Let's ask the neighbors about it. R right. 30 minutes later. According to the neighbors, it seems that the kid moved away several years ago. And they don't know the exact location. Let's ask others. I have many acquaintances around this area. Acquaintances? Oh, Yuki. Thanks for bringing back our runaway dog the other day. No problem. Dogs are important family members, too. Anyways, there's something I want to ask today. Thanks for carrying my luggage the other day. Is your back okay? If you ever need help again, I'll be there. Sure thing. I'll help you, too. Really? Well, then, there's something I want to ask you. Hmm. It seems like nobody knows. Y yeah. Uh, but anyway, you're helping everyone. That's impressive. Uh, I'm just doing normal things. By the way, aren't you getting tired? You've been walking for a long time. How about taking a break at that cafe over there? Have you decided on your order? I'll have coffee. What about you? Parfait! It looks so delicious. <laughs> it's quite a popular one. And it's available for a limited time only. Uh, but it's expensive. And I can't afford it with what I have. Don't hesitate. Order whatever you want. I'll treat you. But... It's my way of thanking you for helping with the inquiries. Is it really okay? Thanks. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's delicious. She, she's cute. She makes that kind of face. What's wrong? Why are you staring so much? Oh, uh, it's nothing. I got it. You want some too, right? Come on, eat up. Huh? Come on, if you don't, it'll fall. Uh, uh... See? It's delicious, right? Y yeah Later, they went outside again and continued asking around, searching together, but... In the end, we couldn't find any leads. But today, you really helped. Thank you. Well then, I'll head home. Wait! Will you go out with me again sometime? Uh, of course. I'll rely on you again. Uh? Really? <laughs> I'm glad. Ah, her reaction is too cute! Afterward, on days when they had time, they continued searching while Yuki helped. However, Several days passed without finding any clues. Maybe he doesn't live around here anymore. I... I'm sure we'll find him if we keep trying. Thanks. But why do you believe so much? Well... Hey, Yuki! Ain't that you? Gory! Huh? Gory? If I remember correctly, he was a classmate of that kid. Why does she know him? Never thought you'd have a boyfriend. A girl like you actually got a boyfriend, huh? Back in the day, you were so poor you couldn't even afford to cut your hair. And you dress like a guy. It's none of your business. We're childhood friends, right? I know everything about you. 
Like how you're still hung up on that guy who helped you in the past, even though he rejected you. <gasps> if you're smart, become my girl. You've got a pretty face. Unlike this guy, you won't be lonely if you're with me. Cut it out. Yuki seems uncomfortable. Besides, a person's worth isn't determined by looks alone. Huh? It's none of your business. Hmm? What's the problem here? Uh, the police. Remember this? Are you okay? Yeah. Thanks for standing up for me. You also had a tough life in the past. The boy I met back then was also poor. He was teased by other kids and cried in the park. But each time the guy who lived nearby helped him. Exactly. Wait, how do you know about that? <sighs> you really are oblivious. The kid you're looking for? Is me. Huh? But, but that kid was supposed to be a boy. As Gordy said earlier, that's right. I was short on money, so I cut my hair short to save some. I, I'm sorry. I didn't realize. It's fine. I wore hand-me-downs for my cousin, and they were more boyish. It's natural to make a mistake. Well, after my mom remarried, we got out of poverty. So that's why the last name was different. But why didn't you tell me right away? Because I wanted you to notice. Besides, I wanted you to see the grown-up me compared to back then. W well you have become quite beautiful. Jeez! D don't say embarrassing things so shamelessly! Anyway, that's not the only reason. I've become stronger than before, so... As per our childhood promise, You'll marry me, right? What? I've liked you since we were kids. Even now that we've reunited, you've been so kind to me in various ways. And I find myself attracted to you again. That's why I want to be by your side. Uh, wait a minute. You're still in high school, and I can't accept a confession like this. Besides... Actually, I just returned from a long business trip. Huh? I'll be back to the main office in a week. I'll end up making you lonely again. So, I think... I don't care. No matter how far apart we are, my feelings for you won't change. Uh. If that's not enough, I'll make you feel the same way. While I'm here, I'll make you fall in love. Get ready for it. What? From the next day, Yuki's approach began. She waited at the station every day, handed me a lunchbox, and sometimes we went on dates on weekends. And after work, there were times when we walked home together. Um, I want to hold hands. Uh, sure. Why not? <gasps> I like your hand. Gosh, she's too cute. I never thought the day would come when I'd get so excited by Yuki. <clears throat> I can't deny these feelings anymore. A few days later, I have to return to the main office today. Before parting with Yuki, I need to give her a proper answer. But she isn't answering. If I don't get an answer soon, I won't make it to the bullet train. I've been trying to contact her, but why isn't she answering? She doesn't seem to be at the station either. Could it be that we'll part without seeing each other? Hey! Is that girl in the special forces outfit okay? She got taken away by some shady guys, and there were quite a few of them. Special forces outfit? Could it be? What the heck? Bringing me to a place like this? I have important business. Is it about that guy? You two seem pretty close walking together. That photo! I happened to see it when you were heading back from the station. It'd be troublesome if something happened to that important guy of yours. So, why not become my girl? What? Your attitude stinks, but your face is pretty good. Perfect for putting next to me. Who do you think you- Ah, uh, come on. If you don't nod soon, I might bring these guys and pay a visit to that guy's place. Stop! Well then, do you understand what you should say? Just nod quickly and try asking nicely. Such a coward. Say whatever you want. My philosophy is get what I want through sheer force. 
come on. Nod your head quickly and go ahead. Make a request. I... Yuki! Huh? Why are you here? Someone saw you being taken away. I've been asking around and finally found you. I'm sorry it took so long. <laughs> Gory, release her! <laughs> you think you could play hero against all of us alone? Guys, take care of him. Sure thing. A few minutes later. Uh... Seiya. Oops, you're over here. You're not going anywhere. Ugh, one after another. <laughs> this is what happens when you resist despite being weak. If you understand, then quickly. Strength isn't just about having power. Huh? Being kind to someone is also a form of strength. I was drawn to Yuki's kindness. Seiya! Yuki is my wife. I won't let anyone take her away. <laughs> Arrogant despite being weak. That's enough. We're here to get our boss back. What? Why are you guys here? We heard in town that you were kidnapped. Release her! Even if you all gang up, you can't beat us. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's... It's not just these kids. The people we questioned last time... Everyone? Why? We heard about the incident where you were taken near the station. You helped us a lot, so it's only natural for us to come help. That's why we called in a powerful ally. Powerful ally? What are you doing? M mom Certainly the strongest ally. Causing trouble for others again. When we get home, you'll be in a world of trouble. Really? I apologize for my son's behavior. I'll make sure he properly apologizes later. Come over here now. Forgive me, Mom. So, what are you guys going to do? If you're thinking of doing something to Yuki, it won't be easy. S sorry Seiya! Whoa! Thank you for coming to help. And what you said earlier, was it true? Yeah, I like you, Yuki. But I can't just start dating you right away since you're still in high school. Then, once I graduate high school, I'll come see you. So at that time, let's get married. Yeah, of course. After that, I return to the main office later than planned. Although, I won't be able to see Yuki for a while. We started communicating every day. Apparently, after that incident, Gori and his parents came to apologize. Gori was severely scolded for his excessive delinquency, and it seems he has been behaving quietly since then. And so, several more months passed. Sorry to keep you waiting. I finally graduated from high school. Yeah, I've been waiting. Seiya, let's get married soon. Whoa! Once we're married, you will make up for all the time we spent apart by spoiling me a lot. Sure, but I never would have thought you were the boss of the ladies' gang. Are you disappointed with the real me? Not at all. I love all sides of you. Hi, it's me, Mel. Thanks for watching my channel. I'm super happy if you watch the next and other videos too.